What's up everybody, welcome back for another Atlas video. So in the last video, we showed you how to start out a new character in the Freeport. So if you haven't checked that video out, make sure you go back and watch that one first if you're new. And now we are sailing away from the Freeport in our new Ramshackle Sloop. Of course, this is pretty much the weakest boat <laughs> next to a raft or a dinghy, the Ramshackle Sloop, it only has 2,520 hit points per plank, so that is not very much. And the sails are pretty weak as well. So this boat, you know, is definitely not intended for fighting. This one would just be to get you to your first destination in the Atlas. So what I've done is I've started sailing away from the Freeport. Uh, we were at this island here on the east, and we're sailing east now towards the first island pretty much that's right there. So we're just gonna sail that way. And in the meantime, I'll kind of talk to you th about some things to keep in mind when you're a new player in Atlas. Um, so, you know, you don't wanna be going out there. And again, this is always just my opinion. Anything in my videos is just my opinion about Atlas. You play the game how you wanna play it. But in my opinion, if you're new, I wouldn't recommend going out and trying to attack people all around you because you're just going to make a bunch of enemies. If anything, try to make friends with the people on the island that you're going to. Try to maybe talk to them either in game chat or on voice chat in game. Um, you never know. Maybe they're a company that's recruiting and that you could join their company and that would make your adventure much easier uh, if you're joining up and, and joining another tribe. Um, just make sure you you know get to know them a little bit, talk to them a bit, make sure you're gonna get along with them and things like that. Um, but that might work out well for you to just try to join a company. If you do wanna go it on your own at first, that's okay too, but just make sure you're, I would keep a low profile, you know, try to keep your bases small, kind of hidden away. Don't make them wide open, out in the open right on the beach because people will just drive by in their boats and they'll probably blow up your base and things like that. Uh, could still happen to you inland as well, but you know, don't don't build right on the beach where everybody can see you. Um, things like that are definitely worth considering. Hey, check it out! Our ramshackle sloop leveled up. Usually early on with a boat, I try to always put my levels in resistance. Uh, try to get it up to at least maybe two hundred percent resistance before I try to put any other points in. Um, but that's all, of course, up to you, what style of boat you're trying to build. So we're going to try to just get to land here at this first island. And I'm just going to try to build a small little wooden base, uh, just like a little two by two base with a smithy and a you know some storage and things like that. That way we have a little workshop to work out of. And hopefully I can arrive without being attacked or something like that but you never know what you're going to expect when you roll up to an island especially in lawless because of course people can attack you 24 hours a day in the lawless regions and it looks like this is all lawless around here of course so there are some owned islands over here g10 places like that but in general here we're surrounded by lawless so who knows what will happen to us, but what you want to do early on uh, when you're still a low level character, I recommend just farming a lot, just gather resources. Um, you will earn a lot of XP from that. Um, a, a skill that can help you a lot early on is of course your basic hand harvesting skills uh, that will help you gather a lot more resources. Um, you also could tame an animal early on, so learning uh, how to do that early on to like get a bear or something like that can greatly help you, of course, to not only defend yourself, but they can help gather resources as well. Another skill to consider early on to help you level up would be your music skills. So once you learn how to make an accordion in the game, you can go out on the seas and find those floatsome boxes that will contain songs and many of them are for XP. So if you play yourself an XP song, 
get the bonus and then you know go around and either kill animals in the game or harvest resources and things like that you'll earn a lot more xp and of course early on that's huge and will help you level up much much faster so i definitely recommend getting the music skill early on um, and then playing xp songs gold songs things like that you can play a gold song and then go out you know and then do sunken treasures or treasure maps and you'll earn a lot more gold that way so definitely recommend the music skill early on uh, let's see it looks like i'm approaching the island so i'm going to bring up one of my sails here i don't have any crew on my boat so looks like there's a base up here so hopefully i don't get shot at Just trying to make it to shore. Maybe they'll see that I'm a new player and they'll leave me alone. What do you think? <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. Looks like there's a few people in the region, so. Now when you do approach a new island, as you can see up in the top right corner, it says discovery area and there's some question marks. That means I've never been here before. So this will be a new area for me, for my character to discover. So, and once I touch on land, I actually will get an XP bonus for that since it's a new discovery for me. So see, we've made a discovery and now we have an XP bonus. So when I gather resources now, I will earn more XP for doing so. Now hopefully there's no defenses around here. I do see some bases built nearby, so hopefully I can at least just build us a little wooden base real quick without getting captured or taken out. <laughs> so as you can see, I've already leveled up just from gathering some resources here. Definitely take advantage of any time you have those XP bonuses to try and you know gather some resources or things like that because you'll level up really fast early on of course once you're higher level it won't be so easy so what we need to build ourselves a little base i'm going to make wood where are we here structures oh i have to buy the skill okay so we want to unlock construction and i also want to unlock advanced tools because I want to be able to make a smithy. And then we go to the construction tab and we want to buy for sure basics of building that gets the thatch structures but I want to go all the way down here to secrets of building so that I can build the wooden structures or at least most of them. Then we go back to our inventory and see now we can make structures. I want to make four of these wood foundations And like I was saying, I mean, you don't really want to build your base like right out here in the open uh, where everybody can see it from the ocean. Uh, if anything, maybe just come in, you know, into the tree line here a little ways. High ground is really mo the most ideal place to build. Like see somebody has a mine right there. But just for this video purposes, well, I guess I can't put it there. Let me pick these up. I want to find a spot where I can put four foundations, but for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna try to build a spot to show you, you know, what you can build really quickly just to get yourself started. Whoops. And if you have to, you can pick up your structures after a certain amount of time. So this base, while it is near the beach, at least it's got some tree cover. So at least they won't see us, you know, as easily. Let's gather a few more resources, so we'll finish the building. All right, so we need four of these for ceilings. We're gonna need eight walls and then a door. So we're just gathering wood fiber and thatch. All right, 
So we should have almost enough here. And just like when we made the ramshackle sloop, make sure you're uh, putting down beds as well. And you don't want to put all of your beds just in one location uh, because if somebody breaks into your, your one base that you have, right, you'll, they'll, they'll get all of your beds. So it's definitely worth hiding a couple of beds, maybe, you know, in a general area near your base, just in case someone does get in there and break your, your beds, you'll still have somewhere to spawn into um, later on. Try not to get too mad or upset if people break into your base early on when you're a new character. Um, you know, unless you've made things that are blueprinted or higher quality, uh, it's all replaceable. So try not to stress too much. If anything, instead of building one massive base that, you know, if somebody breaks into that, they get everything. Maybe build yourself two or three smaller bases in different places on different islands. Um, spread yourself out a little bit. That way you won't get... You won't lose everything if you're attacked in one location. All right. So my character is a little heavy here. I need to eat. Uh, I don't have any food. I don't think any of these plants give berries, do they? Doesn't look like it. Maybe these purple ones. No, we're only getting straw. Well then, we're going to have to get a bed down quickly, aren't we? Okay, so we have a bed made. Let's place that in case our character dies of hunger. And we'll start putting together our base. All right, we've got a door. And just like that, we are officially out of the rain. Uh, the next thing I would try to work on would be to make the smithy. So it looks like we need some more hide and more metal for that. So I'll continue gathering those. And, and then in the next video, we'll show you how to you know, expand your base a bit more and put down the crafting stations and start uh, building towards a better boat and better equipment and things like that. And then I'll also do a video uh, doing a tutorial about taming as well. So hope you're enjoying these new Atlas videos. Uh, again, we're just kind of trying to show some people things to do when they're a new character in 2021. If you have any suggestions for videos, definitely leave some comments below and I'll try to answer some of your questions or topics in a future video. This is Maine. I'll see you next time and safe sailing out there.